Are you ready to go five pounds down? Well, I've got a great cardio and weights workout that's perfect for weight loss. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, beautiful bees, let's get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about finding a healthy weight. Nope, making peace with our menopausal bodies by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like love. You guys, you know what is the best way to find a healthy weight. It's using the 5-0 method where every single day we do five things that make you say, oh, I no idea it could be this simple to lose weight after 50. Every single day, we're gonna eat the right number of calories, which is not necessarily less than you were eating before. Every single day, we're gonna drink the right amount of water, which is half your body weight in pounds in fluid ounces of water. Every single day, we're gonna get the right amount of sleep by going to bed at the same time every night, getting up at the same time every morning, and not worrying about how much in between that was actual sleep, because sometimes it's not. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Every single day, we're gonna exercise moderately with a fabulous workout like this one. Not necessarily this exact one though. <laughs> And it's definitely not more than you were doing before. And the most important part, my friends, every single day, we're gonna manage our minds by finding our thoughts and deciding if they're helpful. And the way you know whether or not a thought is helpful is how you feel when you think it. So I have a helpful thought for you today. It says, I am complete. Oh, where are you going, sweetheart? Blossom is not sure if she's complete. She's thinking about getting some more lunch. <laughs> my friends, this one, might take a moment before it feels helpful. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to Blossom's home, even though she's not sitting in her chair now. The thing about feeling complete is that sometimes we think we're not. In fact, the first time I said that sentence to myself, I thought of everything I'm missing. I miss my sister, I miss my cats, I miss being younger, I miss being able to run a lot, I miss a lot of things. And my friends, I will tell you that if you wanna find an unhelpful thought, it's that one, I miss something that I simply don't have anymore. I am complete if, if it feels helpful for you and if you can find it in you for it to feel helpful can actually take the edge off some of the things that you think you are missing. And my friends, you are not gonna miss anything with this workout today. We're gonna talk about that some more, but let me tell you about this. We've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 40 seconds, which is not short, and 10 seconds of rest, and we're going back and forth between cardio and weights. So let that long interval inform everything you're doing. <laughs> we're gonna get started with something I call high knee jacks because you know what? Our hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks while we're bringing up one high knee at a time. I am intentionally taking this at a very gentle, this is cardio, but I'm still taking this at what feels like a more moderate than moderate pace because I know that when 40 seconds of work that my body is going to get plenty of work done, especially having hands up overhead. As soon as your hands come up, your heart rate comes up and we've got a great amount of work today. So when it beeps, we get 10 seconds of rest. And honestly, that 10 seconds of rest is really just meant to be a transition in between cardio and weights. It gives you time to do that extra squat, <laughs> to pick them up off the ground or off the table or wherever you have your weights. So 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing squat press-ups. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start with the weights right here at our shoulders. We're gonna come down in a nice squat. If you don't like to squat, feel free to do any kind of kick. A squat and then a press up and a squat and a press up. Now, I know that here on this first interval, both of these look especially slow, right? Well, here's the thing. No matter how fast or slow you're moving, your heart rate will come up and we're getting lots of great work today. The point of doing a nice moderate workout every single day isn't that we're trying to get all the work our body could possibly need because we know, you and I, we know that we, first of all, are complete. This is a complete program. If you follow along with my weight loss workouts, 23 three minutes a day, you are getting the recommended, here's our 10 seconds of rest, you are getting the recommended 150 minutes per week. When it beeps again, we're doing side skiers, which is, oh my gosh, this is a mind trip. Your hands are gonna be going yep, side to side, and one foot at a time is just shuffling back behind you. It's exactly like skiers, and I had to do this so many times while I was thinking about this exercise. This is something new for me. If my hands were going up and down in front of me, this would feel completely normal. 
<laughs> but because my hands are going out to the side, does your whole body just feel like it's completely off? Yes, I know. I know I did that to us on purpose. My friends, you are complete. You are completely capable also <laughs> of doing anything. You have everything you need. That was actually one of our other helpful thoughts. I don't remember what day that was, but you have everything you need. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Coming up next, we're going to do triangles. You have everything you need to get everything that you want. Feet almost uncomfortably wide. One dumbbell is going to go rolling down the side of your legs while the other dumbbell is up in the air. And then bring it right back to the middle. We're not trying to get a lot of these done because this workout program is complete. Over the course of working out every single day, moderately, you're going to get everything you need. Here with me, really specifically, I always make sure that our heart rate comes up. Even when we're doing, have you ever noticed this? Even when we're doing strength work, I mean, it's not like your heart rate is at its resting pace right now, <laughs> my friends. This is moderate work that gives you a nice moderate heart rate that will get you where you want to go. It has protective benefits for your heart. And here we go, putting our dumbbells down, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing dancing X's. Hands are wide, feet are wide, reaching our opposite elbow towards our opposite knee in the middle. We're making the letter X and then we're dancing with it. The thing about my workout programs is that you do not need to supplement with more, 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 more. This moderate work every day done every day will get you, first of all, it'll get you to weight loss. Second of all, it'll get you toning as you work out every day, as you get more fit from simply working out every day, your moderate will change over time. You'll find yourself maybe going a little bit faster, maybe picking up heavier dumbbells once in a while. That little bit of moderate change will help you get fitter and stronger. It'll benefit your heart, your lungs. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Heart, lungs, muscles, bones, longevity, Longevity, balance, everything. It's complete. When it beeps again, we are doing cross back curls, elbows right here into your waist. We're gonna just cross back like like a curtsy lunge, <laughs> if you'd like to. You are absolutely welcome to do a curtsy lunge. I have found that I don't wanna get down quite as low as I used to. It doesn't feel as good on my body, it doesn't feel as good trying to come back up. It feels perfectly lovely to cross back, still getting all that work in my hips, still getting all that work in my thighs, still getting plenty of work without all the extra stress. When it beeps again, we'll get 10 seconds of rest. My friend, Blossom, do you wanna come back and join us? You seem very restless. I don't know if you can see her on camera right now. She's just kind of wandering around. She's, oh, sweet girl. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing Drinky Bird Jacks. Speaking of getting in plenty of balance, this workout is definitely complete. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is gonna be doing Drinky Birds, which is a single leg deadlift. Since it is a cardio move, what I'd like you to think about is really just keeping your hips, your hip bones level with one another. While you are bringing that back leg up behind you, your torso will very naturally tip forward. Try very hard not to lean forward into it, but rather to pick your foot up back behind you. Your arms are going to naturally just be doing jumping jacks here while we're doing this. Your balance is probably going to be a little bit wobbly. That's completely okay. We're moving at a pace that feels just right. When it beeps again, we'll get 10 seconds of rest. And then, oh my gosh, I'm going to do another one of my favorite exercises that requires just a little bit of brain work. Okay. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath, some water if you have it next to you. We're gonna be doing umbrella openers. What that means is one arm is raising to the front, one arm is raising to the side, and one leg is raising out to the other side. <laughs> Three points of opening. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. We don't need to go any faster than we are. You're getting plenty of work down. This is a complete workout and you are complete. My friend, I encourage you to really think about what it is that you think makes you incomplete? What it is that you think makes you broken or not whole? Those things that you think make you a certain way, they're actually not relevant to who you are as a human being. You, as a human being, as a person on this planet, were born complete. Here's 10 seconds of rest. And you are complete your whole life when it beeps again. We are doing letter K. It's gonna start with our hands up over our head, which is gonna bring your heart rate up. So on one side, you're doing the letter K. On the other side, you're doing a mirror K. Help yourself to taking this at whatever pace feels best for you for 40 seconds so that we can continue to work out every single day for the rest of our lives. Did you know that you get to do that? 
Did you know that that is your privilege here on this earth that you get to take care of your body by moving it every single day? When you are moving, you are improving. That was another one of our helpful thoughts. It's one of my favorites. I think that was like, it was in the top 10. I mean, not top 10 like my favorites, but in the first 10 of our workouts of this year, I think. I tell you what, at this point, I mean, we're on number 43. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing oblique crunches. You're going to have your dumbbells in your hands. You're going to have your hands right here at your shoulders. You're going to reach your elbow to your knee and your knee to your elbow on one side, squeeze, and then on the other side. The thing about these helpful thoughts is that first of all, I'm actually doing a countdown that I already know, okay, if we're at number 43, we've got 22 more workouts. I've got 22 more helpful thoughts to come up with. And I know you probably noticed that probably, I mean, we weren't even very far into the year before I started saying, now this one might not be helpful for you because it might not be. There are only, there are only so many thoughts in the world and it really depends on how you hear it as to whether or not it feels helpful for you. When it beeps again, by the way, we've got 10 seconds of rest and then we're going to do this circuit one more time. So you have seen everything that we've got today. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. It doesn't get any harder than this, except that your heart rate will continue to come up because we are still moving. Let's go ahead and get started with those high knee jacks. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is doing high knees. I really hope now Blossom's restlessly wandering into the other room. Really hope I'm not going to have a workout to clean something up afterwards. <laughs> But sweet Blossom, she is, oh my gosh, by the time you see this, she will be almost 15 years old. She turns 15 in September and she is not a young dog anymore. And we are noticing that she's got a little bit of that, that restlessness, that wandering. She's not really sure where she is all the time anymore. I have heard, I have heard that there is a thing as, here's 20, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing those squat press-ups. Uh, my my sister-in-law, actually, their elderly dog had like doggy dementia and started like not always recognizing them and, and having some difficulties. And I'm wondering if that's what we're starting to see in Blossom. My sweet old lady girl, she's still a very good dog, but she doesn't, uh, we're doing squat press-ups, by the way. Did I say that out loud? I hope I did, because we're doing squat press-ups. She, she's definitely, She's restless sometimes and very not restless sometimes. She's very good at moderating her own workout. Blossom, do you want to come over here and hang out with me, sweetheart? She's also deaf, so I don't know why I'm asking her because she doesn't always know. You guys, when it beeps again, I'm going to put those dumbbells down. Hi, baby. Come on up. Come sit in your chair. Thank you. Come on up, baby. You want to come sit up? Good girl. Yeah. Good doggy. Coming up next, we're doing side skiers. So hands are opening to the side. Feet are shuffling back and forth underneath you. <laughs> I am definitely going to make us do this exercise again. Like, I don't know if it's later this week, but like sooner or later, we are definitely doing this exercise again because it feels so different from regular skiers. When I was practicing it, I think I started telling this, or I don't know for sure. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of getting older, not always knowing what I'm talking about. <laughs> But earlier when I was practicing this, I had to, I was doing the feet and I was like, is this the same motion? And I had to make my hands do the like up and down in front of me motion to even have any idea whether or not it was the same exercise. And it is. This is what my feet do when we're doing regular skiers. 10 seconds of rest here. When it moves again, we're going to do triangles. Going to have one hand going up overhead, your feet almost uncomfortably wide, and the other hand rolling right down the side of your leg. You're jutting that hip out using both your hip and abs as you come back up. This is an entire hip complex exercise. You're also going to feel this in, well, you're definitely going to feel it in your shoulders, but you're also going to feel it in your inner and outer thighs. Honestly, this is, this is truly a full body exercise. You're getting work in your your upper chest, your upper back, your middle back, your abs, your obliques, all of your hips and glutes and your upper inner and outer thighs. Not quite so much on your calves, I suppose. So maybe not full, full body, but I mean, but I mean, come on. You guys, when it beeps again, we're going to put our dumbbells down. We're going to get 10 seconds of rest. I love how that worked out both times that I evened it out, one on each side or however many on each side. When it beeps again, we're doing dancing X's. Once again, hands and feet nice and wide, opposite elbow to your opposite knee. It's crunching right here in the middle with these dancing X's. How is your pace feeling? My friends, we don't do 40 second intervals very often, do we? <laughs> 
I know, I used to all the time. I tell you what, when I was a younger woman here on YouTube, way back in 2013, when I first started on YouTube, 40 seconds I thought was a short interval. I used to be like, oh, 40 seconds, I guess. Maybe we'll go 50, maybe we'll go a minute, maybe we'll go longer. Now I'm like, I could do half of this, I totally could. <laughs> But here's the thing that I want you to know. You, first of all, are complete. And second of all, 10 seconds of rest. You can take this at whatever pace makes this workout work for you. When it beeps again, we're doing cross back, jack, or cross back curls, excuse me. So elbows right here in the, into your waist. We're gonna step back while we're doing curls. You're welcome to come down as low as you'd like. If you want to do curtsy lunges, you are absolutely welcome. If you'd rather not even do this crossing back thing, you are also welcome to just kick out to the side. And by kick, I mean raise your leg in a very controlled manner so that you're really thinking about those side butt muscles. That's what we're targeting here with this cross back motion, as well as, of course, our biceps. Whew, my friends, I got started way too fast on this. <laughs> I'm going to slow this down. And I'm also kicking the chair every single time. I tell you what, Blossom actually jumped up on the chair really easily just now, which was kind of rare. I've noticed lately, speaking of her being older, that she really doesn't get up on the chair very often. I have to invite her up there. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Put your dumbbells down. Coming up next, we're doing drinky bird jacks. Really thinking about raising from your leg rather than tipping forward from your torso. It makes this move very different. If you think about like trying to almost keep your body upright and really squeeze that glute to bring the leg back behind you, well, first of all, don't do it too much because you don't really don't want to hurt your lower back by trying to get into hyperflexion. But by really thinking about that leg coming up behind you and letting that inform how far over your torso goes. You might be up a little bit further, huh? <laughs> you don't go over as far and that's completely okay. That'll actually help you control this move more. When you turn this into uh, like a, rather than the letter T, like a really sloppy letter T, like your leg is low and your torso is low, that's when your balance is especially difficult. Here's 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're really low on the list. We're gonna do umbrella openers next. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Ah, take a nice deep breath, pull in that core. Here we go with umbrella openers. One, one arm going one way, one arm going the other way, one leg kicking out to the side. All three points here. Whew, working on your balance, working on your core strength, working on your upper body. I tell you what, not only is this workout complete, but pretty much every single exercise is a complete whole body exercise designed to work multiple parts of your body at a time so that we don't have to work out all day. I listen to my sons sometimes, my boys are in their 20s. They go to the gym, as boys in their 20s do, and they, they work out like one body part, here's 10 seconds of rest, for like 45 minutes, just one. Go ahead and put your dumbbells down. Coming up next, we're doing letter K's. And they come home and they're like, yeah, I did biceps curls and hammer curls, and here we go with letter K's. And then we did some preacher curls, and then we did some reverse curls. And I'm like, so you were at the gym for an hour and a half and you only worked your biceps? <laughs> And then if you have ever heard me talk about working your biceps, because those are vanity muscles. <laughs> they are not, I mean, biceps are prime movers, but they're not some of the biggest muscles in your body. When in doubt, I prefer to get the most bang for our buck by using big muscles like your latissimus dorsi, your pectoralis, like your abdominal muscles, your glutes. Like I prefer big muscles, I really do, so that we're getting a lot of work done and we're getting a lot of like metabolic boost from it. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 10 seconds of rest. <laughs> And so, I, as you can imagine, me being a fitness professional with an opinion like that. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells because we're doing the very last exercise. We're doing oblique crunches. I tease my kids mercilessly. And I will tell you, they have huge biceps. I mean, they're very, they're, they are big boys. <laughs> Here's our oblique crunches. Bringing that knee to your elbow and that elbow to your knee, squeezing off to the side in the middle. Now, I, I just called this our last exercise and I will tell you, it's not really. It is, it is the end of our circuit. We will be done when it beeps again, but we won't be quite finished. We're gonna get that 10 seconds of rest. And then I have one final thing for us. It's actually basically still a cardio exercise, but we're gonna take it at, at the same cardio pace that we've taken everything else today. We're gonna to do tiptoe high reaches. Whew, so we're gonna get a little bit more balance work in today, my friends. I'm always working on making sure. Here we go. 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna put those dumbbells down, down, down. A tiptoe high reach to the right, and then a tiptoe high reach to the left. We're gonna go back and forth, really thinking about tiptoeing and reaching. Standing on one foot, not only on one foot, but up on your toes, 
as though you are reaching for something on a very high top shelf. And I tell you, at my house, if I have something on a high top shelf, I just get out the step stool. <laughs> But if I needed to, at the grocery store, I've actually had to get things off of a high shelf before. So this would be really helpful for that. This is very, excuse me, functional fitness that is tough. Tiptoes are something that I don't work very often and it is very helpful because you never know when you're gonna be in the middle of your stride of walking, which is up on your toes, when you lose your balance, my friend. Small intervals of balance, that was it, is the way that we can practice and stay on our feet for so long. Let's go ahead and cool this down with some arm circles. Oh my goodness, we got a lot done today. That was a complete workout, that was a complete conversation. We went lots of places with that today. <laughs> my friends, I love working out with you. Thank you so, so much for being here for it for just taking in what I have to offer you and enjoying the workout, having a good sweat, hopefully having a good laugh with me as well. And, and I really do want you to think about your completeness. You are not missing anything from you that needs to be replaced. You are complete, you are whole, you are unbroken. Let's go ahead and open this up. And then we'll close it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. What a great, great job you did today. I'm so proud of you. This has already been a fun, fun week of workouts. I've got two more for us before you can repeat this or any other weight loss program I have, working out every day moderately just right for you so that you can get everywhere you want to go. My friends, before you go, make sure you click that subscribe button. And I'll see you tomorrow.